Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Monday, May 3rd, 2021, and I only know that because Carrots is sitting across the table from me and I just asked her what the date was. <laughs> Anyway, hi, I'm Rose. I like to crochet. I also like yarn and I like to make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. Um, I live in the Chicago area with my daughter. Her nickname is Carrots and we have a bunch of animals in this place. So we call it the zoo. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. You can see by the title, this is the final April Wings update video. So please make sure you stick around till the end and check out who the um, gift recipients are for the month of April because they have been chosen by a random number picker. And if you could check out the description box for all of the information on wings, that would be amazing. So April was the month that we were collecting hair scrunchies and hair bands and hair accessories. And May is the month that we are collecting diaper bags. Um, now I know a lot of you have probably heard a couple of YouTubers talk about collecting washcloths for wings, but please check the description box for the month that we are collecting them and don't send any in right now. We are not collecting them until October. So please go down below. You can even go to the Facebook group and there is a post that has a list of all of the items that we are collecting for each month. Okay, so are you guys ready? We have um, 35 donations for this video and we had a total of 86 donations for April. Isn't that crazy? Speaking of May and diaper bags, I did want to give you guys a heads up that for June we're going to be collecting lightweight shawls. So I've had a lot of people ask me what that means and that means would you wear it in the summertime? <laughs> would you wear it if you lived in Florida? Uh, don't make anything out of like homespun or bulky six or anything that's super heavy duty. Like something that you could also use as like a lightweight scarf. Okay, so May is diaper bags. June is lightweight shawls. Okay, so are you guys ready? The first thing I actually wanna show you is I tried to find a good pattern for a diaper bag. And I did find a few on YouTube and I you know, went through the first 10 minutes or so and looked at it and I didn't really like, I don't know, I didn't really like them. <laughs> so I found a pattern on YouTube, a, a video tutorial and the, I will link this down below. Um, it is by a YouTuber called Leticia Wilson. And the title of the tutorial is called Glamas His and Hers Messenger Bags. So it's actually a messenger bag, but I'm going to put this in as my diaper bag for the month of, of May. Okay, so I used Bernat Blanket Yarn. And this is, was a clearance item that I found at Michael's. The color is called Lilac Leaf, and it is a number six super bulky yarn. So for my project, I used one full skein, and then I have, I don't know, maybe half of another one. So this is um, 220 yards for one skein. So I don't know, that's 300 something yards maybe that I used. Okay, so I used that yarn. I also used the recommended hook size which is an eight millimeter. And I had to modify it a lot because she used a four weight yarn and I don't remember what hook size she used. So anyway, I'll show you the bag. Now, <clears throat> in her tutorial, she actually does the whole thing in one piece. She does the front flap, the front panel, the bottom, the back, and the handle in one whole piece. And I didn't wanna do it that way, so I just did it my own way. Um, because this is based on someone else's video tutorial and pattern, I won't be writing it down. I won't be telling you exactly what I did because that's like copyright infringement. So anyway, I'll show you the bag. So here is the front flap. <clears throat> so my front flap, the back, the bottom, and the front panel are all one piece. So I did that as all one piece. And then I made the strap and I actually sewed it to the sides here, and then I sewed it to the other side right here. So uh, this is my contribution for a diaper bag for me. I know it doesn't have any inside pockets and it's not lined, but let me tell you, this was super quick to make. 
and it was way softer on my hands than holding two strands of cotton together with a five millimeter hook. So I'm pretty excited about um, donating this to Wings. All right, so that is my contribution for May, even though most of the stuff I'm gonna show you today is for April, which is hair stuff. Um, okay, so I have, I have six big boxes that I'm gonna open here, and then I have a bunch of really little ones, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on my kitchen counter with all the envelopes, I got a lot of little envelopes too, and I'm gonna just show you them on the counter. That way I can make it kind of quick for myself. <laughs> so, all right, so let's get to the first box, okay? All right, you guys, so this first box comes from Heather Roberson, and she is from Georgia, and this thing was stuffed to the gills, you guys. <laughs> and she did leave me a note as well as her business card, and I am gonna show you her business card. There you go, Heather's Heavenly Creations. And I'm gonna read you her note. It says, hi Rose, here's just a few of the scrunchies and hair ties that I've made with my scrap yarn. My scrunchie pattern is Erica Arndt's Easy Crochet Scrunchie slash beginner tutorial. I tried to find spring and summer colors and neutrals. The, the bows were made with Lovingly nice how to crochet simple bow and I put a, on, onto a snap barrette. The snap barrette can be clipped onto a baby headband if the baby doesn't have enough hair or if the ladies, young ladies and kids want a different style. I do have an Etsy shop, but for now only has my blankets and scarves, Heather's H Creations. Uh, and P.S. This was packed while watching your latest Wings video. P.P.S. I didn't even bother with counting as I as I logged. All right, so you guys, I'm not just to save time. I'm not going to dump everything out on the table and show you individually. But this is the basket just of hair bows. You guys see all those? So I did count, and there are 40. I'm sorry, 62, 62 bows in there. 62 hair bows. So here, you know what? I'll just take like one out so you can see. So it's a little bow and then it's got like a little hair clip on the back. Oh my gosh. This whole bag is like that, you guys. Okay. Then she gave me a whole bag of hair scrunchies and there are 49 of these. So here, I'll try and show you this again. And I'm sorry about the, the crinkling, but this entire bag is filled with hair scrunchies. <laughs> Heather, you are a machine. That's all I gotta say. I appreciate you so much. And I want you guys to all go check out Heather's Etsy shop. Okay, so that was Heather's box. Thank you so much. And I'm really excited. I already have quite a few things to bring to Wings this weekend coming up. Okay, next. All right, you guys, this next box is from Barbara Burner. And Barbara is from Kansas. Hi, Kansas. She wrote me a note and it says, um, Rose, these are for your wings project. I love the thought of helping. I'm originally from Waukegan, that's in Illinois. So helping the Chicago area is welcome. Thank you for helping Barbara Burner. Oh, I didn't even say, you guys, what we're doing, <laughs> I should have said this at the beginning of the video, is we're collecting donations for a domestic violence organization called Wings. And they are based here in the Chicagoland area. And my contact there has given us permission to donate specific items every month for the Wings program. So this stuff does not go into the retail stores, it goes directly to the people who are in the program. Okay, so had to get that out of the way. Okay, so she actually sent me some shawls and some bags. Now remember, shawls are for June, but I am gonna just bring these over with me when I go. Okay, so um, she did put like the labels so that we would know. Karen Cotton Cakes is this one. And these are, she sent three shawls. So let me see if I can show you the shawls. So there you go, there is the first one. Oh, it's so pretty. Barbara, you did an amazing job. Did you use two for this one? Oh, it's so gorgeous. So there's one shawl. And then this is the label for the other one. All, this is a cotton angel cake. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I like it, it's soft. Okay, so here is the second shawl that she sent. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just love it. Barbara, what pattern did you use? <laughs> I need just to get going on some shawls too for wings. Okay, and then the third one, 
Um, I don't see a tag unless it was on the back of her label, but it looks also like a care. Oh, it's like a rectangle one. Okay, so here is the end of her shawl and it's long and oh, it's so pretty. Wow, za, it's gorgeous, perfect. Thank you so much, Barbara, for the shawls. I really appreciate it. And everyone remember, shawls are for June, okay? So she also sent some bags. Oh my gosh, and she had the same idea I did, blanket yarn. <laughs> so here is one of them. And there you go, show you that one. It's so nice, I love, you know, I might have a new obsession with blanket yarn, that's all I'm saying. Um, here is another bag. I love the colors. And here is the last one that she sent. So very, very nice. Thank you so, so much for sending in the bags and the shawls. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to be bringing these over to Wings. Okay, next. All right, so this next box is from Danielle Walsh and she is from New York. Hi, Danielle. She sent me a card. So you guys don't have to send a card, just so you know, if you just want to write wings on the box, I'll know. Even if you don't write wings on the box, I'll know. <laughs> so she writes, hi, Rose, carrots in the zoo, enclosed are, number one, a bag of scrunchies that I made, no pattern, just half double crochet on elastic. So I'm not going to take them out of the bag. So there they are, pretty shades of blue. I love them. And then she says, a bag of hair elastics because who doesn't need those? I made sets so they're easier to give out. Okay, so there are, she's got a little ribbon tied around them. So there's the, the ponytails. I don't know, I always call them ponytails. <laughs> And then she says, extra hair accessories from the store in case some ladies aren't into the crochet look. So there's this whole bag of bows and scrunchies and hair ties. Wow, those are so pretty. And then she says, uh, uh, oh, those are bag of hair accessories for babies, kids, because everyone deserves something pretty no matter what age. And then these are the extra hair accessories that she got for the ladies. So there's that. Oh, those are pretty. There's some more hair ties. Oh, those are really pretty. Okay, and then she says, I really enjoyed this month's item. Thank you for collecting everything and making it easy to do something good, right? It's been hard to do something good lately because no one wants you to do good for them, but I'm glad that we can do good for wings. Okay. Next. All right, you guys, so this next box actually came directly from Amazon. And I did get an email from the person who sent this to let me know that they were coming. So these items are from Kat Everett. So hi, Kat, I got the box. So she sent an entire bag of hair ties. So it's funny, it says I can't swim, but if you look in there, it's just a bunch of ponytails. So that's really cool. And she sent this, um, it says it is a diaper bag for a baby girl. So that is really super nice. It's a little small, but I think that would be perfect for on the go, especially if you don't need to carry change of clothes and like all that other stuff and bottles, that's perfect. And then she sent this gorgeous backpack diaper bag. Oh my gosh. I would like to use that with, as not as a diaper bag. <laughs> That's really pretty. So Kat, thank you so much for sending these items directly from Amazon. Um, I hope you had Prime and you didn't have to pay shipping on that, but this is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Okay, next. All right, you guys, this next humongous box <laughs> is from Nicole Williams and she is from Michigan. So hello, Michigan. And when I picked it up, I was like, what is in this box? It is so heavy. So there is a card and it says, hi Rose, I hope these diaper bags will work for the people at Wings. I think they are all roughly the same size, although I did really enjoy crocheting around and around and sometimes found myself going for too long. <laughs> Best to you, Carrots and the Zoo from Nicole. Okay, so Nicole, you went above and beyond. She sent these three diaper bags, so I will show you. There is one, and they're so pretty. They look like so simple, right? There is two. 
and oh my gosh, I love the color on this one. There is three. Now, the reason the bags were so heavy is because there are diapers inside here. Check that out, you guys. And not only are there diapers in here, there are wipes and diaper cream in each one of these. OMG, you thought of everything. This is incredible. Thank you so, so much for filling up the diaper bags. That was amazing of you. I so appreciate that, Nicole, and Wings will appreciate it too. Okay, one more big box, guys. All right, you guys, this big humongous box was sent in by Mary, and Mary actually was one of the original people from the Blanket Brigade, which was something we did last year. People turned in granny squares and we put them together to make blankets. So Mary agreed to put together these little tiny itty bitty one inch squares into a blanket. Um, and so she sent it back and she sent some washcloths too. So I'm so excited. Okay, so she sent a card and the card says, Rose, thank you for the chance to help help you out. I bet you thought it would have would have been back sooner. I know I did. The dishcloths were made by my something. She was glad to do it. You are doing a great job on your videos on YouTube. God bless you and yours, your yarny friend, Mary. Oh, Mary, thank you so much. Okay, so these washcloths, there's a ton of them, you guys. This is insane. So here's one stack. <laughs> Here is another stack. Can you guys see all those? Here is another, st I mean, there's like so many washcloths. Mary, please tell whoever that was, thank you very much for sending in all the washcloths. And again, just as a reminder guys, washcloths aren't until October, so, but I know she had room in the box. Okay, so here is the blanket. And I don't know if you guys will remember, and I couldn't even probably tell you what video it was, but someone sent in a bunch of these little tiny one inch granny squares and Mary so graciously agreed to put those together. And obviously she didn't have enough, so she added a border. So what I'll do is I will go put this on my queen size bed and I'll take a couple of pictures of it and I'll insert that right here. That was beautiful, right guys? Okay, so now I'm going to uh, go over to the kitchen counter and I'm gonna show you some of the little boxes and some of the bags that I got in the mail. So I'll go over and we'll start that now. All right, you guys, this first box comes from Mary Clark and Mary is from California. She put some really pretty purple paper in there and we did get a card from Mary. It says, many thanks. And she writes, for all the time you so freely give in helping others with much love and appreciation, your yarny buddy, Mary. And then she also included a letter that has pattern information. So you guys, I'm going to just, um, just to make this go a little quicker, if there's a baggie in there and it's got the hair scrunchies and the hair bands, I'm going to leave them in there and just like show you while I'm reading the cards because it winds up taking these wings video forever. If <laughs> I show you each individual scrunchie. Okay. So so here's the letter from Mary. She says, Dear Rose, here is some pattern info for the scrunchies and headbands in case anyone is interested. The scrunchie pattern is a tutorial by Nastasia, How to Crochet Scrunchies, inspired by the Visco Girl tr Trend Hair Scrunchie. It's a two ruffle scrunchie and I like it because it's fast, just chain four loops, doesn't use a bunch of yarn, and you can make each ruffle a different color if you would like. The headband is a tutorial by Marley Bird, Bumpy Road Crochet Spa Headband. Her instructions say to use 100% cotton yarn and she uses peaches and cream. I used Premier Just Cotton from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little softer and easier to work with. I also did a knitted eye cord instead of a crocheted one. Hope this helps. So Mary, thank you so much for the bag of headbands and for the big bag of hair scrunchies. I really appreciate it. Okay, so this next box, which is right here. <laughs> this comes from Christina Reynolds and she is from New York. Sorry guys, I'm doing this in my kitchen so I could make it go a little faster. <laughs> here is the card that she sent. Have a blooming marvelous day. Oh, 
Oh, thank you so much. And let me see what the card says. And this is the bag of scrunchies she sent. She says, hello, Rose. I just want to tell you that I love watching your YouTube channel. I think it is great how you are willing to take on the task of collecting donations each month for wings. I am not very good, but I try to crochet. I love it. I have made a few scrunchies for this month. As I said, I'm not very good, but I hope what I have done is good enough. Thank you for all you do. Your crocheting talents amaze me. Your work is just wonderful. Have a terrific day. Thank you, your YouTube fan, Christina. Ah, oh, Christina, you did a fabulous job. Look at all those crochet scrunchies, you guys. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Christina, for donating to Wings. Okay. This next box right here, yes, it says Hobium on it, <laughs> and this is from, let's see, I'll show you what she sent here. This is from someone named Anonymous Amy, and she is from Kentucky, and she sent me two little bags. Let's see here, um, this one right here, and I'll show you what's in it. Okay, so she sent this little bear and she wrote me a note and it says, Hi Rose, enclosed are some headbands for wings. I made them for a woman's size head. I hand washed them but put them in the dryer so that I could get them in the mail. Well, now I think they will fit a baby doll. <laughs> LOL. Maybe there are smaller kids that can use them. Even if they only make someone laugh at how ridiculously small they are, that's enough for me. <laughs> the other little treasure I'm sending is for you. It's a purple bear with a rose on it. Could it be more obvious that this little cutie was meant for you. I hand washed the bear too and added a little bag of lavender to keep it from smelling funky while sitting in the bag. Okay, well, enough of my rambling. Until next time, your yarny sister friend, Anonymous Amy. P.S. Sorry if you thought Hobie sent you, Hobby sent you some goodies. LOL, it was just me because <laughs> it's in the hobby box. Okay, so she sent me this bear and yes, it does have a little white rose on it. Thank you so much for the bear. And then and there are some headbands and these look like they are from the store and then these are her handmade headbands and I did open them up and I think they look just fine they will be just fine Amy and thank you so much for sending all of those headbands I really appreciate it so this next box comes from Barbara S and she is from Georgia and she did leave me a note but I'm going to just keep the camera aimed on what she sent while I'm reading the note and it looks like she sent some stuff that's not for wing so let's see here dear rose carrots in the zoo I had a lot of fun using up my scraps for these scrunchies and headbands the pattern for the headbands is a free pattern on Pinterest called the genius hairband I also went through my hooks and found some Susan Bates ones that I don't use. If you don't use the plastic ones, feel free to put them in a giveaway. The same goes for the other goodies I added. With love, Barbara S. P.S. It's pronounced Swart Zen Truber, but I'm okay with just S. Okay, so Barbara, I'm not going to remember that, so I'll probably just wind up, wind up calling you Barbara S. <laughs> okay, so here are the hooks that she sent. And I will use these. Thank you so much for sending those. And then she sent in a pair of socks and it says about the stash. We do not ask. <laughs> I do have a pair of those. So those might wind up um, going in a giveaway. And here is the big bag of scrunchies and hair bands. So thank you so much for sending those, Barbara. And then there is a little case here that says yarn life. And let's see, what does it say? 17 pieces. It's a fix-it kit. And then there is a little zippered pouch here, and that must have the other hooks in it. Let me get those out. Okay, so this is what she sent. I love them. Oh my gosh. And here's a little wooden thing with some tapestry needles in there. Wow, Barbara, thank you so, so much for sending all of these goodies. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, next. So this huge box comes from PJ Skelfo, and she is from Brick, New Jersey. And it looks like it is a tea box. And so when I opened it up, this is what was in there. Surprise, it's not the delicious David's tea enclosed, LOL. <laughs> and then she says, I typed the letter so you could re read it easier and it is okay to read on camera. So I'm gonna just keep the camera on all of these delicious scrunchies that she sent while I read her letter. 
and it goes, hi Rose, my name is, is PJ Skelfo, pronounced Skelfo, and I'm from Brick, New Jersey. Two fun facts. Number one, New Jersey is the only state that you can use half the name of the state and people know where you're from. I always say I'm from Jersey, never New Jersey. Pe number two, people always ask where brick is and my answer is it's next to wall. Get it, brick wall? If you look on a map, you'll see it's true. <laughs> This is my first contribution to your channel. I hope that the recipients of these these handmade little treasures enjoy them. I was raised to always help those that have less than you and that if you need a helping hand, start with the one at the end of your arm and others will follow. I wish I could have done more, but with my daughter's wedding coming up in May and working, time just runs out. I washed and dried some of the scrunchies because I made them with Red Heart Super Saver and they just felt too scratchy to me. Washing and drying them made them just a little softer. I'll start my June contribution after the wedding. I enclosed some goodies in the box for you. I hope you can use them. Thank you for supporting such a worthy cause. I updated my Amazon account to Amazon Smile and linked it to Wings out here in Jersey. Stay safe and healthy. Many blessings from PJ. That's amazing. Now remember you guys, you are more than welcome Welcome to donate locally if you can find some place that will take them that would make me so happy if you would do that okay so I see the goodies in here let me see what she sent okay so it looks like she sent some beads oh my gosh those are pretty look at those you guys purple those are nice wooden beads oh wow and then she sent some charms and some more charms. Wow, thank you so much, PJ. Congratulations on your daughter's wedding. And thank you so much for contributing to Wings. I really appreciate it. And so do the people at Wings. Okay, next. Okay, you guys, so this box with the little zebra tape on it is from Stephanie Munoz. And she is from Texas. And she sent me a note. I'm going to show you. There's a big bag of scrunchies here that she sent. So we'll focus on that for a second. And she did send me a letter and the letter says, hi Rose, Carrots in the zoo, hope all is well and Carrots is doing better with her ankle. This is my first donation for wings and hopefully it won't be my last. For the larger scrunchies, I followed a video tutorial by Mimi Hoang on YouTube. For the smaller ones, I just made treble crochets into the pony O. Thank you for everything you do for Wings, your yarny friend, Stephanie. P.S. I always enjoy your retail therapy videos. <laughs> so, Stephanie, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful scrunchies. I love the colors. Um, just, I really appreciate it, and I'm so glad you were able to contribute to Wings. Aw, thank you. Okay, next. All right, you guys, so this next box, which is right there, is from Sherry Miller, and she is from Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I will keep my uh, camera focused. That whole box is filled with scrunchies, you guys. So Sherry actually sent me two cards. The first one is a Happy Mother's Day card. You are so sweet, Sherry. Thinking of you and wishing you every happiness on this beautiful day. Enjoy from Sherry Miller. And then she also sent another card. This one has butterflies on it. And the card says, thanks for all you do for the Yarny community from Sherry. Sherry, you're so sweet. You didn't have to send two cards. And then she sent another letter. <laughs> and in the letter she writes, Hello, Rose, Carrots, and the Zoo. I pray all is well and you're all safe. Rose, I would like to say to all the makers and creators that do that donate to Wings, they are all so talented and generous also. This donation will be in two parts. The hair scrunchies, my granddaughter liked half of them, so I shared with her. That's okay. <laughs> There will be another box sent to you from Amazon with more scrunchies. The headband wrap is from a tutorial by Jeanette at DOY Creations on YouTube. Sorry, it the only one I had other projects that needed to be completed also. Thanks once again for giving me the opportunity to use my yarn to support a worthy cause. Love you and God bless you and your family from, oh, it's not pronounced Sherry. Shari, Shari, Shari Miller. P.S. I've enclosed some charms that I found in my stash that you might be able to use. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, well, but this is the headband, first of all, you guys. Here are the little charms. They're little shoes. Oh, my gosh, those are so cute. And here is the headband. It's like blue sparkly yarn. 
Wow, Cherie, thank you so much. I love the headband. Thank you for the charms. Thank you for donating. You can share anything you want with your granddaughter, right? <laughs> okay, next. So the next two packages, one is this big mailer and one is this other big mailer. And there was no name on the package. So I don't know exactly who it came from. It is from Oregon. And there is no note in the bag that I could find, but I'm just going to show you. There is so many hair accessories in here. So I'm going to show, it looks like there's a bag of goodies. There's some charms and stuff. And then there's hair to hair bands. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, let's see here. Headbands. More headbands. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are from Hobby Lobby. That is so cool. Okay, I think those are from Dollar Tree. More headbands. Oh, these kids are going to be having so much fun. There's some bunny ears. Here's more headbands. Oh, there's a frozen headband. Oh, another frozen headband. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. There are head wraps. Look at this huge bow tie, you guys. That's so cute. Oh, you guys, there's a chocolate bar. I'm assuming that's for me. <laughs> Here is hair clips. Here are some little kid hair ties. There is a really pretty hair bow. Oh, another hair bow. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. Whoever this is, thank you so, so much. More hair bows. There is, oh, that's really pretty hair band. And then you guys check out that hair bow. So cute. Okay, and then there is like a little hand towel here, I think. I'll show you that. I'm assuming this is for me. Yarnologist, an optimist at heart who turns yarn into art. Oh my gosh, it is a flour sack towel. That's going to go straight on my kitchen, in my kitchen. So whoever sent this, thank you so, so much for, for grabbing all of these hair accessories for wings. Um, and I do really appreciate it. Okay, next. All right, you guys, so this box comes from Dorcas Fields, and Dorcas is from Indiana, and there was no note, and that's fine. Remember, you guys don't have to send a note, and Dorcas made, 20, I think, 25 hair bands, and she packaged them so nicely in these separate plastic bags that I don't really want to take them out. So I'm going to just show you guys. I mean, there's so many of them here. Oh my gosh, there's 25 headbands and they're all individually wrapped. So I'm actually going to leave them individually wrapped just like this and they'll stay a little bit cleaner going over to wings. So if that just gives you an idea of what Dorcas sent. Thank you so, so much, Dorcas. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, next. Okay, so this big humongous envelope comes from Cheryl Sakuma, and she is from Washington. Just so you guys can see how big the envelope is. <laughs> and we'll focus on what she sent while I'm telling you about the card. There is the card. Oh my goodness. And she says, hi Rose, I have been with your channel for about two months. I really enjoy it. I think you are a kind, sweet, caring, funny lady. I'm glad that I heard about you, Crystal from Bag o Day. I think it is kind of you to give us an opportunity to give to Wings. I hope these make it in time. I did enjoy making these and I did my best, not my own. <laughs> hope they are okay. I very much enjoy your stitch markers. Thank you from Cheryl. Well, Cheryl, thank you so much for ordering my stitch markers. Um, so these are some headbands and they're really, really pretty. I just love them. That one is a pink sparkle and that one is a purple sparkle. And then there is a whole bunch of hair scrunchies in here. And then there is another bag like completely filled with hair scrunchies. So, oh my gosh, Cheryl, Cheryl, you did an amazing job. Thank you so, so much for contributing to Wings. I appreciate it. And so do they. Okay, next. All right, you guys, so this next box is from Melissa Keller, and she is from Michigan, I believe, Michigan. And you see there's a hook right there. So she sent me a card, and I will show you the card. So it is a thank you card. And um, here, I'll show you the, the scrunchies while I'm reading it. It says, hi, Rose, hope your daughter Carrots is doing better. The pattern for the hair 
hair scrunchies are by Copercino Accessories, two for one video. I used Bernat, Mainstay, Big Twist Twinkle, and Red Heart Comfort. There is a Bates hook inside for you. I have another one that I have to find in my dresser. It's still in the package. Have a wonderful day. Sincerely, your yarny friend, Melissa Keller. P.S. I used Goody Ouchless Hair Ties for the scrunchies. So here you go, guys. It is a bag that is absolutely stuffed to the gills with scrunchies. So Melissa, thank you so much for the scrunchies and for the Susan Bates hooks. This is one of my favorite ones. Okay, so let's get to the next one. All right, so this next box here is from Karen Schumacher and she is from Connecticut and she sent me a card and I will focus on the hair ties that she sent while we're reading the card and she does write on there 13 hair ties. She rose, writes, hi Rose, here are 13 hair ties for wings. Hope all is well with you and carrots and the zoo. Thank you for all you do. You're like a godsend to the families that receive the things us crafters make. Love, Karen. Well, you guys, I'm just the middleman, so you send it to me and I make sure it gets there. That's all there is to it. No big deal. But anyway, these look beautiful. I see like velvety yarn and soft yarn. Oh my gosh, yes. That's just awesome. Wow, thank you so much, Karen, for sending in all of these scrunchies. It's just amazing. So I am going to leave those in the bag and get them over to wings just like that. So thank you so much, Karen. Okay, next. Okay, you guys, that next box is a priority box, and it comes from Sharon Parmalee. And Sharon, I believe, is from Florida. And she did send me a letter, but she said I um, do not have to read it on air. So in case you guys are not familiar, Sharon is making makeup bags for us. So you can see a stack of makeup bags there. And those are part of our monthly thank you gifts. So you probably heard me talk about it earlier, and we will be announcing the April winners at the end of this video. Um, so she did say that the um, she's not much for making headbands or scrunchies, but she did take, her, take a stab at making these, and I think that they're absolutely beautiful. So those are some headbands, and I just love them. And then she says for the makeup bags, um, it's the last of the ones that she's sending for the giveaways. The purple bag with the smaller bag inside is for me. And the smaller bag is made with the last of the fabric I liked in the original bags. Okay, so I'll show you that one in a second. But here are some of the makeup bags that she's sending as giveaways, as thank you giveaways. So there's four more that she sent, and they're absolutely beautiful. You guys probably can't see them very well, but they're box bottom, there's zippers, there's um, like a nice pull right there. They're just beautiful. So that's one, two, three, and four more bags. And then she sent me this purple one. Oh, look at that, I love it. So it's purple and that's the inside. And then here is another little bag to go with it. So Sharon, thank you so much for sending these bags. They're beautiful. And thank you so much for sending me the purple one. I really appreciate it. I just love it. Okay, next. This next box is from Terry Gardner and she is from North Carolina. And she did send me a card. It says, you're amazing. <laughs> and it says, and however, wherever, and whenever you need to hear it, I'm here to say it. And she says, how true with all you do to keep all the items for wings together, plus your own life. <laughs> That's okay, my own life is fine, okay? So she sent a box of headbands. Look at all those headbands, you guys. That's awesome. Awesome. And she also sent a, it looks like a diaper bag. So there is the bag and it's so pretty. Wow, I just love it. It's got like a um, pocket on the back. Wow, that's incredible. Hey Terry, let us know if you have a pattern for this or if you just winged it. So it's beautiful. Okay, next. So this first package comes from Kaylin Mathis. And she is from Alabama, and you guys will know her as Kay's Crochet Haven, I believe. I will link her in the description box down below. She is adorable. And she sent an entire bag of hair scrunchies. Grays, pinks, burgundies, they're just beautiful. Kay, thank you so much for sending all of those hair scrunchies. I really appreciate it. Okay, next. 
All right, you guys, so this big envelope comes from Jennifer Brass, and she is from New York, and she sent me a letter, and the letter says, Dear Rose, I don't know if you would remember me. Last year, I sent in some multicolored washcloths from a huge ball of home cotton mill ends I bought at AC Moore a long time ago. I never made headbands or scrunchies before I had fun making them. As I am a slow crocheter, I had to choose the items I was going to make and donate. I am working on winter sets now either scarf and hat sets or scarf and ear warmers i plan on making and donating more washcloths as well i want to thank you for what you're doing for both wings and the yarn community thank you jennifer brass also known as misty fan named jen on youtube so jen thank you so much this whole bag is full of scrunchies I'm not going to take them out and then she made all these beautiful headbands Wow, Jen, they're gorgeous. So Jennifer, thank you so much for donating all of these items to Wings. I really appreciate it and I cannot wait to bring them. Okay, next. All right, you guys. So this next envelope comes from Sarah Clark and she is also known as Yarn Loving Sarah. And um, I think she's definitely on, I don't know if she's on YouTube, but if she is, I'll link her. But I think she has an Etsy shop and she might be on Instagram. So I will let you guys know. And this is the card she sent. And I will tell you what the card says says, Rose, thanks again for another month of wings. I am hoping to be able to keep contributing, but I've got a lot on my plate and not sure I can get bigger projects done. I'm going to try though. The scrunchies are half double crochet and double crochet three in each stitch after chaining around a hair tie. And the headbands are from Bag O'Day. I just modified them for adult heads. And she is, oh, Yarn Loving Sarah on YouTube and Instagram. Awesome. So Sarah, thank you so much for the beautiful headbands and look at all those scrunchies you guys they are like the velvet scrunchies oh oh my god I love them Sarah thank you so so much for sending in all of these items for wings okay next all right so this next package is from Brianna and she is from Alabama and she sent in a card and I will just keep my camera on what she sent so the card says, Rose, I hope this finds you doing well and that it made it in time. I didn't follow any patterns. Hopefully everything is usable. The beads are for you and there is a necklace for you. The other necklaces can be used as you see fit. Give away wings as gifts. You can even harvest the beads. Thank you for the chance to donate from Brianna. Okay, so the two handmade items... Uh, headbands are right here and then she also sent in a couple of handmade scrunchies and then she sent in these really pretty necklaces and if it's okay Brianna I am gonna go ahead and donate these to wings because I'm sure the ladies will love it then there are some store-bought headbands and scrunchies and rubber bands and there's some ponytails there and those are the beads that she sent. So Brianna, thank you so, so much for sending in all of this. Oh my goodness, you're such a blessing. Thank you again. Okay, next. Okay guys, this next package comes from Myra Morales and she is from Florida. And she sent in this beautiful card. And look at the envelope, you guys. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let me show you or tell you what she says in the card. In the meantime, you can look at all the scrunchies. So she writes, Rose, thank you for being a constant companion during these crazy times. It's been a rough year, but finding your videos has made it easier to deal with things on a daily basis. I wish you carrots and the zoo nothing but happiness, love, health, and success. Your friend Myra. And look at how pretty the card is. It's like totally handmade. I love it. Thank you, Myra. Okay, so then she put in an entire bag of scrunchies and she wrote on there four wings. So there's all those scrunchies. And then she did make a hairband. Looks like, oh, that looks like it's from that flower yarn. That's really pretty. And then she sent me a bag and said, these are the items I mentioned to you on Etsy to be made into stitch markers. So Myra, send me an email or another message because I don't remember us talking about this, but you know, I get a lot of messages. So, so thank you so much for sending the beads and the scrunchies. They are all fabulous. Okay, next. All right, you guys, this next bag comes from 
Ashton Slater and Ashton is from New York and look at this no note and that's fine you guys remember you don't have to put a card or a note in the bag if it's an item for wings I will know that it is for wings but this is just a huge bag of scrunchies oh my gosh I see some velvet yarn wow those are really really nice Ashton, thank you so much for donating all of these scrunchies to Wings. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to bring them over there. Okay, next. So this next package is from Karen, and she is from Virginia. And I just want to show you, wow, she is really, um, really into the Wings thing. I don't want to show her address, but she did put, like, Wings on the package. She, like, must have printed it and taped it on there. And then she also put it on the back. So I would know it's for wings. All right. And then she did send a card. So there is the front of the card. And then I'll let you see her beautiful work while I'm reading the card. It says, hi, Rose. I hope that you carrots and all the critters in the zoo are doing well. Here are a few items for wings for the month of April. Thanks again for the opportunity to help such an amazing program. Take care from Karen. So you can see she brought, uh, she made some scratches cheese and then look at these headbands you guys oh, wow they're so pretty Karen if you can comment and let us know what um, pattern this is this one's really really pretty I love them all so thank you so so much Karen for donating to wings I really appreciate it okay next all right you guys this next bag comes from Susan Romanelli and she is from Kansas and she did send a beautiful butterfly card and I'll just let you see all the goodies she, she sent while we're reading the card. She says, I am late with this. Thank you. I received the dragonfly stitch markers from a giveaway. They kickstarted me to get working on my baby alpaca yarn. Here are some scrunchies and headbands. I had a ball using up the scraps. So you guys, this entire bag is filled with headbands. And this whole bag is completely stuffed to the gills with scrunchies. So I, you can see like there's like an eyelash one and there's one with sequins in it. Oh my gosh, this is so much. Wow, Susan, thank you so much for sending in. This is like such hard work for so many of you and I really appreciate your time and your dedication to sending in items for wings. So thank you so much. Okay, next. So this next bag comes from Pamela Sanchez and she is from California and she did leave me a card and it was in a little Hello Kitty envelope and there was tea in there. Oh yes, that's awesome. Thank you for the tea. And so I'll just keep you showing what's in the bag. She says, hi Rose, Ho I hope you carrots and the zoo are doing well. I have included some hair items for wings. Thank you for all you do, your crochet friend, Pamela. So she did send some headbands. Oh, I love these. And some scrunchies. And these are like the velvet. And this feels like that, um, like that pipsqueak yarn. So, wow. Thank you so, so much, Pamela, for sending in these delicious, beautiful, gorgeous items. I really, really appreciate it. And Wings will appreciate it too. Okay, next. Right, you guys, this next package comes from Stephanie and she is from Pennsylvania. And she sent me a card and I'll let you see the goodies while I'm reading the card. She says, hi Rose, so I recently purchased the small Centro knitting machine because my daughter likes being involved in the yarny things, but doesn't quite have the patience for crocheting yet. Well, turns out she loves it and we both decided to make some headbands for wings. Hope they can be used and they are not too wide. Thank you for everything you do to involve everyone for this great charity. Have a fabulous day, Stephanie. Now you guys, this is Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escape. So if you have not subscribed to her channel, go over and subscribe to her channel. She does some pretty cool things um, on her channel over there. She said, P.S. I've included some stitch markers that I've made. You can do what you please with them. Keep some for yourself and give the rest away. So I'll show you the headbands. These are the ones on the knitting machine. And then it looks like these were crocheted. And then she sent me some little pom-pom stitch markers. I love them. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Okay, next. Guys, this next bag comes from Cindy Davies and she is from Virginia. And she left a note here and she said that headbands and scrunchies for wings and the Annie's kit is for a prize drawing. 
Love your channel from Cindy. Okay, so she sent an entire bag of these types of headbands. And then she sent in more headbands. <laughs> and then she sent in these beautiful scrunchies. They're purple, so they're, well, they're more beautiful than any of the other ones just because they're purple. <laughs> and then she sent in this beautiful kit for Annie's. Lovely Lapgan from Annie's Caring Crochet. So you know what, guys? Maybe I'll put this in for the May um, thank you prizes. And I really, really appreciate Cindy donating this as a giveaway prize. So thank you so much for that and for the donations. Okay, next. This next priority envelope comes from Peggy Marillo, and she is from Nebraska. And there was no note, and that's fine. There were a couple of hair scrunchies, which are beautiful. And then there were two of these hair bands that tie. Love those. And then she made this, um, it looks like a diaper and a wipes pouch. And so this has the little slit in there so you could put like a portable thing of wipes and then you can put a couple diapers in there. And I think I've seen the tutorial for this on Crystal at Bag o Day's channel, but I don't know which tutorial it is. So, wow, it is beautiful, these puff stitches. It's gorgeous. Wow, thank you so, so much, Peggy, for donating these. These are phenomenal. I just love them. Okay, next. All right, you guys, this next bag comes from Michelle, and she is from Arizona, and she sent a card. <laughs> I think we all know where those cards come from, right? She says, hi, Rose, Carrots, and the Zoo. Thank you for all that you are doing with wings and closed our April's donations. I'm not sure how many scrunchies I made. I lost count. Also, I didn't follow any pattern. I had fun just fiddling with my hook, to, hook and yarn. From your yarny friend, Michelle. So, Michelle, thank you so much for sending in all of those scrunchies. It is packed to the gills with all different colored scrunchies. So they're beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Ooh, it looks like some of them even have glitter in them. Woo, awesome. All right, ready for the next one? All right, you guys, so this next bag, I could barely get it open. It was packed so full. So I'll let you see what's in there. This is from Shelly and she is from Shelly's Sass Sassy Stitches and she has a YouTube channel. So go check her out. I will link her down below. And she sent me this card. And I'll let you look at the scrunchies while I'm reading the card. Oh, she gave me a business card. Here is her business card. I just didn't want you to see her phone number. And I'll link her YouTube channel down below. And she writes in the card, hope this arrives all in one piece. Took me some time, but I got them knocked out. Phew! Hope you and Carrots are doing well and hope her injury is healing well too. Take care and God bless you both from Shelly. So Shelly, thank you so much. I could barely like get this out of the bag and I don't know how it stayed closed. <laughs> so you are incredible for sending all of these scrunchies. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Okay, so this green bag comes from Cynthia Hansen, and she is from Cynthia Ray's Crochet. So if that is a YouTube channel, I will make sure that I link it down below. And she sent me a card, and I'll let you see what she sent. I'll let you see the scrunchies there. She says, hi to Carrots in the Zoo. Hi, Rose. Here are some Wings donations for April. Sorry, they are so close to the deadline. It's been a, lot, a busy month. The pink wrapped gift is for you. I found them in a gift shop and just had to get them for you. Take care from Cindy Hansen. Okay, so here are the scrunchies that she sent. They're adorable. And then she sent a headband. Show you guys that. And then you guys, check this out, what she found at this gift shop. Are you serious? Like, I have to go and buy some more of these. Shut the front door. No way. Those are like the most amazing socks I've ever seen in my life. And I'm going to wear them tomorrow for sure. So, Cindy, thank you so, so much for sending in the donations and for even thinking about sending me these socks when you found them. All right, guys, that's it for the little packages. I will see you in a sec. All right, you guys, amazing, right? Okay, so like I said, that was 35 donations and then that's it for April. So what I did is, or just in case you guys are new here, is I write down everyone's um, 
when I get a box and I open it up, I put a number, like, so I start with number one and it's in numerical order and I'll write their name and I'll write down what they donate. And I keep it all in this book. Look, eat, sleep, crochet, repeat. And then when I'm done for the month, because I'm not going to go to the post office again, probably till Wednesday, I use a random number generator and the random number generator picks a number. Um, we had 86 donations for this month. So I said, pick a number from one to 86 and we have six thank you gifts that we are giving away every month. Okay. So the random number generator chose the following people. Now the following people have one week to, to get back with me and send me an email, roselexcrochet at gmail.com so that you can claim your thank you gift. Um, so the first item and if you guys want to see what these items are, you'll have to go back and take a look at, um, actually, you know what? I'll go get them. Hang on a second. All right, you guys. So we had someone generously donate and purchase stitch markers from uh, my Etsy shop. And it was Tamara North and she donated stitch markers. And so for the month of April, she donated, I just picked them out of a bag, random out of a bag. So we are going to be giving away these smiley face stitch markers and the winner for this one for April is Stephanie Munoz, okay? And then we have a project bag from Jennifer at Crafty Bones. Hi, Jen. And this one was actually never claimed last month, so I'm gonna see if someone will take it for this month. <laughs> so remember, these are all thank you gifts that were um, given to me to as a way to say thank you for you guys for donating to Wings. So the winner Winner for this project bag is Heather Roberson, okay? And then we have a pattern that was donated by Wool Makes, and that would be via email. So um, that would be Deb Fremond, you won a pattern. And then we have a hand-sewn makeup bag which is going to be this one for April. And this is courtesy of Sharon and Linda. And the winner for April is Gloria S for this one, okay? And then we also had some butterfly stitch markers donated and the person who donated them wanted to remain anonymous. So the winner for April is Mo. And these are the stitch markers that you're going to win. And the final um, winner or the final thank you gift is a goodie box that I've put together. And I showed these all on uh, at the beginning of the year, I guess, or the season. They all include some yarn, some hooks, um, some bags, some uh, fabric maybe a journal, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So it's a goodie box that I put together with my my own funds, my, my yarn. And this fabulous lady here on YouTube, her name is Crystal, she decided that she wanted to donate one of her thumb drives in each of the goodie boxes. So that is pretty freaking amazing, right? So, for the winner for this box, if you would like this thumb drive, you need to let me know. If you want it, I will put it in the box and you'll get that with this goodie box. Now, the winner will also get another generous gift from Crystal at Bag O Day. Now, Crystal has decided that for this month, she also wants to donate a $100 gift card for Michaels. Is that not incredible or what? Like if you guys didn't comment on any of the items that you saw here today, you should at least be commenting and thanking Crystal for her generosity in donating all of these items for you guys. This is for you guys who donate to Wings. Okay, so that will go in the box and the winner, if you want this, you will get this as well. And the winner for the goodie box for the month of April is Romaine Carlin. So we have six winners for this month. And what I need all six of you to do is to send me an email, roselexcrochet at gmail.com. It is May 3rd. You have until May 10th to send me an email. Otherwise, you forfeit your prize. Okay, so remember, we need Stephanie Munoz, Heather Roberson, Deb Fremond, Gloria S, Mo, 
and Romaine Carlin. You all need to send me an email by May 10th. Now for the rest of you, you can please leave a comment on all of the beautiful donations that we got here for Wings. And let's send positive vibes um, out into the universe and to all these people who need our help at Wings. Okay, that's it, you guys. I'm sure I will see you pretty soon for a May Wings update. Take care, guys, and have a great night. Bye.